Hey, James Wise with Holton Wise here. Today, I don't want to say it's a great video because we're going to be tackling a topic that's kind of controversial. And let's face it, nobody loves uh, what we're doing today. But today we are heading to an eviction, uh, a real live eviction during the actual process. This is actually the day that the bailiffs, they come to the property and they remove everything. Let's dive in. We're a couple minutes out. We're driving to the property. Uh, the crew called, and as I understand it, right now the tenants are actually uh, grabbing all of their belongings and, and putting them out, trying to pack them up because the bailiffs are scheduled to come at 11:30. Currently, right now, it's 11:13 in the morning. Now. I know a lot of people are going to be watching this and I'm expecting some type of hate from those liberal f**ks out there like, what the hell, Holton Wise, you guys are horrible, how could you throw a family out, it's snowing, uh, blah, blah, blah. Look, here is the deal. First of all, it is April 15th right now, okay? Holton Wise doesn't even own this property. What a lot of folks don't seem to understand is that all landlords are not large corporations like Holton Wise. See, what had happened is this property is owned turn left. by a gentleman. He lives out in North Carolina. He's a hardworking guy. I believe he's an engineer by trade. And he's just trying to create a better retirement uh, for himself and his family. So he's purchased some rental properties in the Cleveland market. Now this particular property, he had hired a different company other than Holton Wise to manage it and his tenants stopped paying rent in October of 2017. As I said, it's now April 15th, 2018, okay? So his tenant didn't pay October rent, his tenant didn't pay November rent, his tenant didn't pay December rent. At that point, he contacted Holton Wise. He didn't know why his uh, current property manager wasn't able to quickly handle the situation. So Holton Wise took the property over in January we filed for eviction okay, in right. February, and now today we are at April 15th. So this tenant has not paid rent October, November, December, January, February, March, April. That is seven months that this person has been living in this guy's home without paying any rent. Now, the landlord or the previous property manager, I'm not sure how it went down because we were not involved, but they were trying to be the nice guy they were trying to allow that tenant to catch up and it bit him in the ass. Now this person has seven months of non-payment. This guy is not a multi-millionaire. He's just a regular Joe like you, like anybody else out there. And he is literally getting killed with the amount of money that he's losing. So as we get closer to pulling up onto the street, you're probably gonna see this tenant, you know, scrambling, trying to put away all their belongings. You need to know that they have known this was coming for seven months and they chose to steal from this man. Now, when Holton Wise filed that eviction back in February, right they the know road. that the eviction is filed. They're noticed. And then we go to court four weeks later. We went to court. We won in court. And then the tenant was given today's date at court. They were given. It's called a writ of restitution. The tenant was given that. So the tenant has known today has been coming for seven months, but they've known about the exact date of this for at least 14 days. And they have chosen to make it difficult for him to support himself and support his family. You need to keep all of that in mind when you see some of the footage that you are about to see. Cross me once, it's left some bitters. All right, so we are at the house. We just pulled up to the house. I got my crew out there. That's John, and then we got all the the court appointed movers are all here. How, how much of their belongings are in the car, or in the house rather? Probably about seventy five percent. No one's there. I'm expecting they'll probably come back though, because Dave said they pulled off right before. Um, yeah, we thought the boyfriend was Thompson's car the whole time because no. he kept staring at us. Well, yeah. Thompson's <laughs> right. like F those guys videotaping. I'm like, all right, they're fine. It's important to note that we're gonna stay out of everyone's way. You see, 
I'm probably the only guy at Holton Wise that enjoys having a camera in my face at all times. <laughs> Evictions are already a pretty stressful situation, so we do not want to add any stress to this situation. We do not want to bother the crew or get in their way. Uh, so we're going to let these guys do their thing. Sweet. Tommy, protect me if a bullet comes. Anyway, we can uh, get you to move this here van so we can take that spot for a cinematic effect. Yeah, back up, I'll back up. That is a bailiff right there. We have another bailiff up there. This Escalade uh, right there is actually the tenant who is currently being evicted. Uh, she's kind of just running around, screaming, wanting to know where the landlord is. Remember, this person has known that this has been coming for seven months. This person has been stealing from the owner of this property for seven months now. And, uh, you know, today is the day. She's got done talking to the bailiff. Looks like she's going to be pulling off now. Looks like it's finally, she's finally come to the realization that uh, she is not going to be able to steal from this landlord anymore. And uh, as she pulls away, grab her car there real quick. I want to I point something out to you guys. As this girl pulls away, notice that she is driving a Cadillac Escalade. <laughs> if, that, if that isn't the most ironic thing you've ever seen in your life. The fact that this girl, seven months, giving her sob story to the bailiffs, giving her sob story to the crew out there, and she pulls off in her Cadillac Escalade. You got a hard-working American down there in North Carolina. Tried to be the nice guy. Tried not to evict her for those first three months. And now he is seven months into this thing, and this girl's giving her sob story as she pulls away in a Cadillac Escalade. As you guys see, we got John Holton. Uh, he looks like he's got a huge saw. A lot of times these tenants, they'll change the locks. They'll barricade the doors so the eviction crew can't get in. They seem to think that if they throw away the key when it's eviction day, we won't be able to get in. But uh, as you can see from John bringing a gigantic saw into this property, that's not the case. It don't matter what you do to that door. When it comes time for eviction day, Holton Wise is going to get into that house. Whether or not there's a door when we're done with this remains to be seen, but we will be in that property and we will be securing that property for this investor. You guys are starting to stack the tenant's belongings on the side of the house. See a mattress, lamps, you know, just regular, regular stuff. John told me the house was uh, completely filled, so all the tenant's belongings are going to end up stacked on that side of the house right there. Now the way it works here in Cleveland is all of that stuff is going to be left out there and whatever isn't stolen by scrappers, see a lot of the scrappers they will follow these bailiffs cars and they will steal all of that stuff. But whatever isn't stolen or retrieved by the tenants by 5 p.m. tonight, this moving crew is going to drive back to this property. They're going to grab everything, put it in their trunk, put it in their truck. They're either going to dispose of it, sell it. You know whatever they got to do now as you're watching the guys take out the final set of this person's belongings you're seeing all the mattresses all the beds everything just lined up on the tree lawn again you might start to feel sad and you might be thinking oh this is horrible how could you post this but again remember this person has had seven months that they have chosen not to pay rent to this landlord. And this landlord is not a big corporation. Again, you see Holton Wise, you see the signs, you see the trucks, but you see Holton Wise, we represent individual landlords. We are a management company that works for mom and pop landlords. This particular landlord is just a regular guy with a regular family trying to make an honest living. And we got folks like this who for seven months choose to steal from him while driving away screaming in a Cadillac Escalade. You see, if you're following me on my Instagram, I said I was gonna show you the good and the bad. I am not one of those salesmen that's gonna tell you everything is gonna be sunshine and rainbows. It's not. Sometimes the real estate investment business is tough. It's savage. And what we've seen today, this is some of the worst it ever gets, guys. Nobody enjoys throwing an entire family's things on the tree lawn but this is real 
this is the type of stuff that happens. If you invest in real estate, eventually this hand will be dealt to you and it's just something that you have to deal with. We gotta get in there, remove the stuff, and move on.